It's just Tessa. Sorry, just me. Wow. Love what you haven't done with the place. Malamar can take your taste buds on a joyride, but it can't offer companionship to your own mama's funeral, now can it? I don't think so. It's inevitable. Sometimes your friends are going to make decisions that you just don't agree with. I think I'm gonna cut bangs. And sometimes your only job is to be supportive. I think I'm gonna dye my bangs pink. But if you watch your friend make a decision that kind of... And she was all, you're just jealous because I was the first person to start wearing hair feathers. And I'm all, I guess you didn't see the photos from Hedonism too, when I was totally wearing hair feathers all over the place. And she was all... Don't let me stop you. She's all what? Hey, Tess. Hey, Dad. So weird to bump into you at my cafeteria hanging out with the girl who gave me a subcutaneous hematoma. Do you mind? I'm still eating your lunch. Actually, I do mind. Do you represent Dottie Alton? What? Now, I want to go over the dimensions of your backyard okay. and the budget your mom gave me. Money is no object. I'm sorry? We are having a private conversation that doesn't include you. I could go to jail for what I did today. This could be my last meal. In that case, it needs salt. Esther's grandson. That was fun. Oh! Oh. It's not like I'm trying to impress anyone. Yeah. No risk of that. Um, what, what the hell is that? That's my quilting circle. Aren't they a hoot? Since when do you have a quilting circle? Ever since I found myself with no friends, activities, or a love life. Having a great time, I am. <laughs> Can you believe what a great time we're all having? <laughs> okay, Mommy, here we go. Go. Yes. Okay, uh, we hate this person. Jessica Seinfeld. Yes, but for us, the male version is... Nick Cannon! Correct! Oh, yes! <laughs> wow, looks like you and Mommy make a great team, huh? Ooh. You should take her up on that, George. My mom's pie is award-winning. I am in. What award? What? You said award winning. What award did it win? Oh, it's just a figure of speech. Award winning is not a figure of speech. It's a claim and sounds like in your case, it's a false one. Okay, go get some forks for the, uh, the pie. Not to die on this hill, but Nick Cannon has brought a lot of enjoyment to a lot of people, and unlike Karen's pie, has won actual awards, so... I'm just saying. 50! No! 60! You do realize you are trying to pay your daughter to go on a date with someone she doesn't like. If I accepted, think about what that would make me. A team player? You are a terrible parent. Get out of my room. Pathetic or completely justified with an amazing mama like her. What is so amazing about her, George? Please, enlighten me. Okay, okay. For starters, she smells fantastic. She has long, shiny hair. She told that hilarious story about what great time they made on the way over to our place. She's a boring, beautiful woman. You just like her because she's hot. I, however, have slightly higher standards. So what you're saying is you'd love to be there, but you've come down with a bad case of rickets. I get it. You're pathetic. For new. <laughs> Who's this? Uh, how about this here is... Oh, I'm sorry. So sorry. Um, I'm Tessa Altman, and I'm from New York, and we are trained to do that. Of my eye. You're the cream of my coffee. You were my blood diamond, Mama. Well, I think it's clear you both loved your Mama very much, and equally so. You were my November rain. You were my hunter in October. I never left her side. She never left my heart. She was my best friend. She was my twin! Okay, well, let's eat. I don't want the boiled peanuts to get cold. Oh, they're already cold and weirdly slimy. I hate them. How about? This whole family knows that you did not give a pickled rat's ass about mama. Is that what this is? So how long are you visiting for? TBD. Who was that? I saw that. That was, that was a look. No look. No look? No look. Did you? Are you? Did you tell my dad on me? Yes, George, I did. I did, and I would do it again. Oh, brother. Dad, I'm sorry Tessa dragged you all the way over here for nothing. She's... 
There's a child in the house. Have you thought about what kind of impression you're making? Other than the one on the sofa? You hush your lips. George, I'm worried about you. I hate to see you like this. Now, you're never going to attract a dynamite gal wandering around in your bedclothes. I, I'm not interested in attracting a dynamite gal, OK? I'm taking a break. What? I'm showering. Shut up, traitor. Look, George. Somewhere between the senior slump and the freshman 15, there exists a window. A window to travel outside your comfort zone and to try new things. For me, that meant a house party two towns over thrown by some college kid home on break. For Lisa, that meant going to the house party in a bedsheet, designed to look like a toga. I told you. Yo, ho, ho. Ahoy, me hearty. Shiver me timbers. Happy birthday, Evan. You win. E is for everything I like about him, which is many. V is for very much, which is plenty. A is for his asthma, which never slows him down. N is, is not really, because it, it, it really slows him down. Hey, I love you, bro. Fresh air. Really? You can just freestyle something? Off the dome? Guys, no. Because, no. Oh, hello. Do you like delicious things? What's wrong with you? You're acting weird. Are you drunk? Yeah, I'm drunk. On nutrition. <laughs> Try this new juice I found. It's got goji pulp. I don't want goji pulp. What happened to our everything else? I got rid of it to make room for the juice. It's cheaper if you buy it in bulk and with my new membership discount. What? You joined a club? I thought we weren't doing that. No, it's not a club club. It's it's just an opportunity for people who live in certain zip codes to get privileges that aren't available. Crap, I joined a club. I wasn't supposed to do that. No. How did this happen? I can't even look at you right now. There's gum in my car. She doesn't know. She wouldn't care. She might. She won't. Hey, she's standing right here. You want to tell her what you're talking about? Doesn't matter what I think of you. I should have kept my mouth shut. You know, sometimes I think it's easier to focus on other people's issues than your own. I guess we're not so different after all. Not quite sure how you got there, but in a band. And it's amazing and liberating and I really hope you come see us play in the park. Why do you look like Braveheart? Why? Because my buddy has her priorities screwed up. <laughs> my priorities are screwed up? You can't keep skipping class. Lisa, it's not a real class. It will be when you fail it. Lisa, if you want to be a half-tan sheep in a full-tan flock, go for it. But me, I'm marching to the beat of a different drummer. Luke. That's my band's drummer. You're still in a flock. It's just a different flock. And I can't believe you would be more loyal to a group of strangers you just met in the park than you would be to me, your best friend. What am I supposed to do about a buddy? I don't know, Lisa. Maybe it's time you go find yourself a new one. <laughs> Tessa, we don't keep people here by force, silly. You can pretty much go anytime you want. You just need to turn your uniform in, suffer one exit beating, and you are on your way. Exit beating? It's a formality. Exit beatings are exacted using whichever instrument you play. In your case, youch. Yeah. Too bad I don't play the kazoo, right? <laughs> yeah. But I once took someone's eye out with one of those, so. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Serving time in Chatswin Penitentiary one can almost forget that at some point, your sentence is going to end. I stayed clean. I kept to myself, mostly. I stayed out of trouble, and I learned a lot from the experience that I think will help me on the outside. I mean, you're fine university. Alana has just as much of a right to be here as any of you do, okay? And let me tell you something. Not only is she going to enter the pageant, but with my help, she is going to win it. Finger out of your nose, I beg you. Oh, congratulations. Oh my gosh. Tell you about to lay her first tear. Somebody grab me a mason jar, quick!
It was the first school night in my whole entire life that dad didn't come home. You didn't actually think that you were gonna sneak in the back door unnoticed, did you? Okay, so hello, good morning. And yes, you may have noticed that I'm wearing boss nice clothes, but that's only because- I don't really need you to paint a picture for me on this one, George, but thanks. So let me just say that the assumption you made is correct. And yes, although Dallas and I spent the night visiting with one another. Visiting. Is that what people your age call it? It doesn't mean anything. Isn't it obvious? She's like a poor man's me. Oh, don't tell me you don't see it. She's completely Tessa-like. We don't even know her, don't we? Military boots, snarky attitude, lightly flushed cheek and a, and a natural lip, side part. Peach mango unchained. Right, right here. here. Oh, hey. You're the old girl who used to date Ryan, right? You mean the original. Right. June. Mm-hmm. It's Tessa. Right. Uh, here. All yours. Don't really want it anymore. You sure? Because it kind of seems like you still want it. Hey, Junebug, you want to get the... Junebug. That's just a nickname. Yeah, I have one for you, too. Tessa Dactyl. I texted you after school to see if you wanted to get a yogurt, and you said you had plans. And I do, with Junebug. Did I not mention that? No. That's good. Because judging from your expression, I would have guessed it would seriously tick you off. Oh, no, no, I'm not ticked off. No, I think it's great that you love hanging out with Junebug so much. In fact, Brian doesn't marry her, maybe you should. So sorry about the other night. That kind of thing will never happen again. You're right, it won't. Because I came up with a plan to make sure it doesn't. June and I will have you on alternate weekends and holidays. Additionally, we will each have you to ourselves on our respective birthdays. I just don't know how to handle yours. You know what? Don't even stress about that. I'll celebrate my birthday alone in a closet so that neither one of you feels slighted. That works for me. Teen years. I am an old soul. Tessa, I was born old. Right. Also, Malik is your first real boyfriend. Correct. And he also happens to be my soulmate. Look, I know that you have yet to experience that kind of love. Here we go. But just because you and Ryan didn't last. Do you think there's such a thing as soulmates? I know you have yet to experience that kind of love. What the? Why does everyone keep saying that to me? But you want doggy daycare? No, from Nora. Yesterday, she was seriously bossy and borderline rude. Did you call her on it? No, that would have been rude. You have to be honest, George. You have to be honest, and you can't let it ruin your friendship. A wise man told me that. Yeah, and a wise ass repeated it. So I know the train is leaving the station, and I just want you to know that I am on board. Then let me see your ticket. Wait. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. Something's gotta give. I have an event to put on here. People gotta get fed. Pictures gotta get snapped, and I'm assuming you want people to shake their bodies in time to the music? That is customary, yes. Okay, there's gotta be music. Okay, now after all those invoices are paid, I'm hoping there's gonna be enough in the kitty for a bell or a whistle, but it's probably not gonna be both. What kitty? So I am asking you, what is the single most valuable add-on I can provide to make this wedding reasonably special? Fireflies. Fireflies. As in bugs? Lightning bugs? They're incredibly romantic. They're beetles. How many people do you think we can fit back here comfortably? Well, let's see. Uh, we hosted 60 nudes last summer for our bottom knockers Ooh. event. Ouch. She said comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tight squeeze. Yeah, things got a little messy. <laughs> Actually, I'm not comfortable. Tessa! What the hell was that out there? What the hell was what? What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm on to you, bitch. Okay, that's not a nice thing to say. You think I don't see what's happening? You creating this super romantic environment? For Lisa and Malie to get married in. Looking extra cute? No, I always look this cute. With that one stupid tendril. This? Okay, this is not a tendril. This is a flyaway. Bullcrap. 